Hey folks, Queen Row Kill Candy here. Today we're doing a box opening. As you can see, it's Pathfinder Adventure card game. This is Mummy's Mask base set. And yeah, it's um, it's actually my birthday gift that was given to me. On the threshold of discovery, the ancient lands. So we move out here, you can see. Now, it shows some of what's in here, but let's actually open it and see what's in here, all right? Ooh, promo card. Kajit has wares. All right, we have it open. So, we have a quick start guide. Read me first. I guess that's why it's on the top. It's uh, not that large. See, it's just a pamphlet. So, Mommy's Mask, this is the base set rule book. As you can see, just quickly going through here. Looks like there's information on each of the classes and characters you get, and set up for the board. Alright, so we have a set of blue dice, which I'll get them out of the package in a second. We have some cards here. Here's some more. Over here, looks like these are the characters. We have, ooh, the Half Dead City. I'll do that in a second. We got cards here, cards here, and cards here. So uh, let's open up this pack first. Hang on. All right, now to get into the cards. Ooh, it's not too bad art. Well, some of these. So it's a deck builder, so there's going to be a lot of uh, duplicates of certain cards. But you know what? That's alright. Although I don't see terribly many. I myself have not looked at the rules or watched videos of how to play yet. So I'm not sure exactly how... This uh, game works. I know it's a deck builder. I've played lots of deck builders before. Um, I think my first deck builder was actually the Resident Evil card game. And then just, you know, kept trying out more and more. Blessing of Horus. So if you look over here, it's like Divinity and all that. And it's got stuff over here, but... Again, I'm not sure what that does necessarily yet, because I realize it's been out for a while, and I realize that there is another uh, set you can get of these, and this is like uh, the second, maybe? It's gotta be, because the pirate one was the most expensive, and I know the other one was the first one, so this has got to be the second one, I would assume. Blessing of a Wadjet, would that be? Game of Afterlife. Scarebuckler. Alright, so that's it for that stack. I'm going to open up this stack. Alright, on to the next stack. I assume those were the player characters. Were these Curse of Daybane? Are they events? Yeah, let's just assume they're events as we're going through it. I mean, you know, by the time you're seeing this, I've probably read the rules and figured it out. But I mean, you know, you more than likely know what this is. And I will later. But at the moment, I'm not sure. These cards kind of feel weird. I don't, I don't know how to describe it. Maybe it's just me. They, uh... I don't know. I like the feel of, like, Vanguard cards, for example. But these ones, they just... I don't know. It's like they feel like silk. And that just feels wrong for cards. They have silk cards. Just the... I don't know, the... Gloss on top. I mean, everyone's always changing the feel of their cards. I don't know. 
kind of feels like if you took a magic card and slicked it, I don't know, into something? Maybe the machine was a bit oiled, because, uh... I wash my hands before I do this, because God knows, these are not in sleeves yet, right? Just, oh, I don't like the feel of these cards. I guess it must have been the machine. I suppose they don't expect us to touch it and put it straight in the sleeves anyways. It really bugs me. Look at these. There's so many, it's awesome. Of course there's going to be duplicates, as I said before. Oh, look at that. One eye. That's awesome. Put a few of these. Are these, like, monsters? Oh, it says trigger. Are they, like, traps? I think I read something about there being traps in this game. Fire damage, poison damage. This guy's got a fair amount of stuff going on. These must be the main cards in the deck, since there's a lot more duplicates. I mean, I could be wrong. You want these forgotten feral cultists? I bet they're super bros in your deck. No, I have no idea. <laughs> I really wish uh, I could say I've played this, but obviously I haven't yet. Uh, one of my friends, he owns so many board games, and basically what we do is if he owns a board game, we don't buy that one, we buy the other ones, and then we can play more board games that way. Because he brings over certain board games that we like, and then we purchase different board games, and we can bring those ones over that he likes, and, you know, just get to play a lot more. I mean, nowadays you can go to those uh, board game cafes. They're quite popular, but I just find that... Uh, because a lot of kids' parties do their parties there, a lot of the stuff's quite damaged at some of them. Not all of them. Alright, let's go to this stack next. Alright, on to the next stack. So we got some hyenas. We got a magma spirit. We have several magma spirits. Sand Creeper. Is he going to explode? Scarab Swarm. Shock Element. Shock Toad. More Shock Toads. Skeleton Jackal. Skeleton Jackal. Yellow Jelly. Ooh, some gas. Pit Jewelry Box. That's awesome. Camouflage. Pit Trap. Collapse scaffolding. There's a lot of these. It's uh, interesting the yellow border on these ones. Like, I wonder. Is it like. I don't know, because I mean, it obviously means something. I'm just wondering what. Ooh, trapped locked box. Blowgun. Blowgun. Cross of dagger plus one. Corrosive, I mean. Sorry, I'm looking at this through um, my uh, camera instead of actually the cards. And so it's uh, not as clear as having your eyes actually look at the cards. Cards. Poisoned Sand Tube. Scimitar Shoto, is that how you pronounce that? Sling Staff. Staff of Focus. Torch. Torch. Acid Jet. <laughs> Acid Splash. Cute Senses. More Cute Senses. Clinging Venom. That sounds annoying. Cure. That sounds good. Elemental Treaty, Find a Trap, 
holy light, more holy light, motion, more motion, lightning touch. Some of these kind of remind me of uh, older magic cards, you know, back in the day. I mean, I didn't play Legacy, but I saw Legacy cards. Lots of crocodile armor. Looks like there's a whole set of that. Quilted hood, coat, coat, acid flask, kit, antitoxins, normal items, I guess you would have, well, I don't know, a few cards ago that was like normal items. Ooh, healer kit you have when you go on an expedition. Moonfine glass. Ooh, history guide. Some tea. Would you like some tea? Smoked glass goggles. Wing of Horus. Yes, I would like to ride a camel. Caravan guard. I'm sure he's guarding your... Here we have a dog. Alright. Next we have this one. Alright, more random cards! And it looks like they're dual-sided. Hmm. It's cool. Get more <clears throat> stuff for your bank. This do not want to separate. Ooh, that sounds fun. It's probably for all the toxic we stuff we saw before he's a dude here's his stats here's Yoon here's Yoon's stats stats an old lady what no sexy young mage oh there, she's coming up in a second. Here we go. Sexy young mage. Female human oracle. Here's her stats and abilities and everything cool. Cure poison and all that other random stuff. Okay, when you gain a trader's reward, check it in the box below. At the end of any mummy mask scenario, each character may visit one checked trader. Cool. And the last one is what this opened me first. Uh, oops. Anyways, hang on. So, yeah, it looks like all that stuff I was opening was supposed to be opened last. Oh, well. Let's see what's in here. I mean, they're all nicely separated, so it's, it's fine. It's not like, um, I don't know which cards belong in which pack. But, uh, yeah, maybe I should have been more careful and actually paid attention, but, I mean, oh, well. It's kind of a mix, it looks like, of everything. But, you know, it's cool when they do that. It's like, uh, Spoils did that, where there was a deck you would... Oh, they're separated by character. I guess this is the stuff they start out with. That's cool. Uh, but yeah, Spoils did a thing where there was like a packet, and you wouldn't open it until you had played like five games or whatever. And then after your five games, you would open it and it had like rare cards for your other, uh, for the two decks that came in there. So, yeah, I always kind of like that. Because it's like, um... I don't know, like a DLC that's not a DLC. Uh, or, you know, expansion that's not expansion. You know, it, it just makes it feel like it's growing when they do things like that. Personally, for me. Because, I mean, I don't know. I quite like it. But I kind of screwed it up because I didn't read it. Of course, I mean, you guys all want to see what's in here. I'll just slip them in sandwich bags, the ones that shouldn't be open yet. So it's no big deal. I mean, I guess I'm supposed to be surprised at all the stuff I get in there. I'm not going to be surprised anymore. But that's okay. That's 
my fault for not seeing that card. It would be a very boring box opening if I only did this deck, wouldn't it? Blessing of the Elements. Ooh, what are these cards? During the Venture Path. Alright, we got some cool stuff here. Are these places you go? I wonder what they're for. They gotta be places to visit. And then monsters, I guess. You go with each of the places, I would assume. Probably. Ooh, we got a little bit of everything in here. I'm going to assume that some of those are like items you can find on your quest or shops. Stained glass elemental. That's awesome. I wonder if it matters what order these are in. I hope not. I guess it doesn't matter. The book will probably tell me. It'll just be a little bit of a hassle because, you know, what kind of disorganized it. Sort of. Maybe. <laughs> Whew. There's a lot. I'm quite glad. Especially like that it actually came with one of those boxed extras in here. Like that's, that's cool. So, ooh, Ghost Battling Ring. That sounds awesome. Potion of healing. A lot of these blessings. All kinds. Oops. Alright. Thank you so much for watching the box opening of Pathfinder Adventure Card Game. I'm going to open this in a separate video just because this video is starting to get a bit long. Uh, thanks so much. Please like and subscribe. Uh, bye!